this over, it immediately gets marked as spam. Because on the YouTube, really it's more than really remarkable. It is an information, information war. war. Uh, for sure. And with the million people on the side, so and creating ways to uh, open up communication channels, you know, they've been, it's been re it's just responded by the military, uh, industrial folks, compact with, with their, their ways to counter that in this information war. And, uh, so, so, you're, so, 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 we're mentioning, you say, I noticed that if you say crash change more than by silver, it mainly gets marked as spam. Because on the YouTube, if more than two or three people, people click on the mark as spam button, button, it gets, uh, more or less deleted, right? right? So it's more marked as spam, and you don't see, see the comment anymore. Anymore. That's one little, little trick. trick, right? Uh, I'm not sure, but, you know, this is something I noticed. Anytime it had happened, all you do is write a comment and crash JP Morgan by server and it immediately gets marked as spam. I don't know if it takes two or three or four or five or six or ten or ten or one. Well, it's not They hire people. They hire people. And they know that there's a threshold after which the comment is marked as spam. And so the algorithm is and, 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 and um, the information is manipulated in this way. Now in finance, we see it working also. When they, they talk, talk about high frequency trading, the stock exchange, exchange. they flood the exchange with what are called quote, quote stuffing, or bogus orders to try to make the price go up today. And so they're affecting that's financial propaganda. And we see it right now, remarkably, even though the volume of trading on the exchange uh, coming from real accounts, non-program trading, non-robot uh, trading, that 10-year, 15-year lows. The stock market's making mid, 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 close to you know, new highs, new two and a half, new three and a half year highs. It's moving toward a new all-time high. Even though the underlying the is it's, it's, it's 10, 15 year lows. Because, because the, the prices, prices are being moved up by robotic trading. trading. And the robotic trading does this by hacking into the algorithms, algorithms that are the uh, the basis for what's called price discovery, and they manipulate it. So I guess what we could say, say is that the the mechanism for truth discovery in the blogosphere and six space, the algorithm of weighing opinion and comments and facts and the truth is the hack by the bots, and they do both stuff and equivalent. They do uh, the technological equivalent to influence at what Chuck Chomps you know, call manufacturing consent. So, so you, you see, see this happening both in the financial space and, and in the non-financial space, which of course the non-financial space serves the financial space because uh, one of the reasons we got the level of direction against banking occupation is because folks are rebelling against the fact that, 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 that the economy has collapsed, but the technological ability to to uh, just cream cream nickels, nickels and dimes off the top, the way that the system is architected is growing, growing exponentially, and it's in the hands of the, the top one of the We can control, control the means of making markets. So we've gone on for post really Marxist uh, ideal of the discussion of capitalism in terms of who controls the means of production, because the means of production of the factory and more equipped by the means of the market maker. Who can make the market? Who can create a price? price. Is whoever controls, controls the price is going to win. Now, uh, according, according to the Western uh, free market, market capitalism, there's a thing called the land, 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 land that makes the price and make market, and it's, it's beautiful and godlike. Uh, which, theoretically, if it were properly implemented and regulated, it could perform very well. well. But, but unfortunately, unfortunately uh, uh, right, right now, with the shadow banking that Gordon Brown called it, and the derivative market, market, market and, and the, the uh, future, future market is being uh, horribly manipulated as they are. You don't have any true price, price discovery, discovery anymore. anymore. Well, no, the, the prices, prices for things represent no underlying value. And when you get out of that cap, you have to fall off the sea shepherd. Uh, he calls it the economic of extinction. You know, and this is being applied to all flora and fauna of the natural world. That people who overfish in Japan, who are now caused blue fish and tuna to go extinct, they're doing so with the knowledge that in the freezer back at the pier, they've got, they've got a few hundred pounds pound of blue fish tuna. And the price of blue fish tuna is going to $100,000, $150,000 for one, one of these blue fish tuna. tuna. The price, price keeps going down as the species becomes extinct. The price of tiger and 
lion and walrus and elephants in the park that are um, taken from these animals. The price is going up, going up because the species are becoming extinct. Uh, so, I mean, uh, how much are we talking in 10, 20 years? Well, people are going to be like, my God, that's a real human eyeball. eyeball. You know, the humans became extinct. Well, it's worth $30 million at Christie's. It's one, one of the last remaining human eyeballs on the planet Earth. Look, look, look it's still has the muscles attached to it. Too. It's, 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 it's incredible. There's only five of these left. They become like a factory of eggs. And of course, there are left are these avatars, avatars of robots and trading robots. And trading with like themselves. And, you know, you know, artificial intelligence has gotten, gotten pretty advanced. advanced. And it's evolved and much faster than any other species in the world. So at some point, I don't think people are going to notice that humans have effectively become extinct. I mean, I mean they will, will once, once they create artificial synthetic sperm and artificial synthetic eggs, uh, then it's all basically digital at that point. And the, and the wet, wet space, the meat space, the animal space that was around for the human history, that's the product of the homo sapien history of 200,000 years. Uh, that chapter will be over and we'll be into the post uh, human uh, species and uh, kind of be some kind of cyborg here. Well, that is a very long yeah, it's, it's really, really sophisticated. It's really, it's really remarkable. remarkable. It is